You may have noticed on your Windows 10 PCs that sometimes the clocks tend to drift a little bit. Now this might not necessarily be a problem for you, but if the PC is connected to an Active Directory domain, then clock drift can cause major problems because Windows uses the Kerberos protocol for authentication and Kerberos is time sensitive. So if clocks become out of sync by more than a few minutes, you can have any number of problems that occur. So there is a way that you can bring the clocks into sync. The best option is to synchronize the Windows clock with an NTP server, NTP standing for Network Time Protocol. Now ideally what I'm about to show you, you would want to perform at the Active Directory level, but you can do it at the local group policy level, particularly if you've got a standalone Windows 10 PC. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. What I'm going to do is right-click on the Start button, and I'll go to Run, and I'll type pedit.msc. And this is going to open up the Group Policy Editor with the Local Security Policy. So here we can see the Local Computer Policy. So I need to go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, click on System, and then Windows Time Service, and then Time Providers. Now there are three Group Policy settings. There are two of them that we need to enable. First, we need to enable Windows NTP Client. So I'll double-click on Enable Windows NTP Client. And I will enable this and click OK. Next I'm going to click on Configure Windows NTP Client. And I'll enable this as well. Now there are a couple of changes that I need to make here. Right now the type is set to NT5DS and I need to change that to NTP. I also need to change the NTP server, so I'm going to delete what's already there. And then I'm going to type several NTP servers. So as you can see, the server is us.pooledntp.org, 0x1. And then I have 1.us.pooledntp.org, 0x1. And then I have 2.us.pooledntp.org, 0x1. and then 3.us.pool.ntp.org, 0x1. So it's a lot to type, but that gives you several NTP servers that you can use. I'll go ahead and click OK, and then I'll close the Group Policy Editor. Now eventually that change will take effect, but you might not see the clock's update immediately. If you want the clock to update more quickly, there is something that you can do. What I'm going to do is open an elevated command prompt window. And I'm going by clicking on the Start button, and then going to All Apps, and then I'll go to the W section, and then Windows System, and I'll right-click on Command Prompt, and I'll go More, and then Run as Administrator, and this is going to open an elevated Command Prompt. I'll click Yes, and now that the Command Prompt is open, there are two commands that I need to type. The first one is GP Update slash Force. And what this does is it tells Windows that you want to load the most recent security policy. So you can see that the policy is updating and it takes just a second. But you can see that the computer policy update has completed successfully. And now the user policy update has completed successfully. So now Windows is aware of the most recent changes to the security policy. The other thing that we need to do is to restart the Windows time service and we need to do this through PowerShell. So I'm going to click on the Start button. I'll go to All Apps. I'll go to the W section. Then I'll go to Windows PowerShell. Right-click on PowerShell and go to More and then Run as Administrator and this will open a PowerShell by clicking Yes. So the command that I'm going to use is Restart Dash Service. And then W32 Time and I'll press Enter. And that will restart the Windows Time Service. And so now at this point, the clock should be correct. Now it's worth noting that Windows will pull time from other sources. If Windows happens to be connected to an Active Directory domain, it will try to get that time from a domain controller. If Windows is running on a virtual machine, it will try to get its time from the hypervisor that it's running on. So that's just something to be aware of. But if you've got a standalone Windows system, then the method that I just showed you will work for getting the time from an authoritative time source. And as I mentioned too, 
If you have a domain joined environment, then you can implement those policy settings that I showed you at the group policy level so that they alley to all of your domain joined CS. So that's how you fix time synchronization issues in Windows 10.